All right, so this is my little Peterite. It's a 128 pound anvil. It is on a chunk of maple. Um, a lot of blacksmiths likes to use elm. I think the reason for that is because elm doesn't crack. That's at least what I've heard. You can see that my maple does have some cracks in here. This anvil's been on it just shy of uh, two years and it dried for about a year before I put the anvil on it. So I could definitely see that cracking could be a potential issue. I did try and router out a footprint of the anvil so that it would sit down and not walk around and it looks pretty good. Uh, I also took a router and routered the bottom so the bottom was perfectly flat so that it wouldn't wobble. Uh, I have my turnbuckles on it, right? The turnbuckles go into a channel that I routered underneath. So I have a turnbuckle on this side that pulls the anvil down. And then a turnbuckle on this side that pulls it the other way. And then um, Bertha over there is on a chunk of hemlock. Uh, it's only been on there for about three months now. And uh, it was cut down the day before I put the anvil on it. You can see I've routed out uh, the footprint for the anvil on this piece of hemlock. It doesn't look like it's set down anymore. But there's also a piece of rubber matting underneath of it. All right, you can see the turnbuckles are nice and loose. I also loosen the one on the other side. So the chain's nice and loose. I'm do a rebound test. With uh, with the chains loose first. All right, so I have one foot marked out. I'm gonna try to drop it right on the middle for the most amount of mass under it on the anvil, and we'll see our rebound. I have a normal little three-pound sledge. Kind of loud, kind of pingy. All right, so turnbuckle's nice and tight. The other shit's nice and tight. Now let's do our ball bearing and hammer test. So same ball bearing, drop them from 12 inches again. Try to do center mass. Same sledge, 